hospital bag remember to pack for your birth attendant also hi mommy today we'll talk about what all to pack in your hospital bag i dr anita chaudhry will tell you about all this because i have packed my bag three times all that excitement is there you're all ready that any day you will get signs of labor and you'll have to go to the hospital but remember when you are going to the hospital there are a few very important essential things that you need to carry one is your hospital bag and i generally advise that after 38 weeks you must pack your bags and keep it ready and at such a place that when you have some signs of labor you just pick it up and you walk what is your birth plan has your doctor told you anything whether it is a planned cesarean section or you will go in for a normal labor so you have to pack your hospital bags accordingly and there are three bags that are needed one for you one for the baby and one for the birth attendant also the birth partner cannot be ignored in the bags first and foremost is keep your hospital file because so many times i've seen when the patients come at the last minute in that panic condition they forget the hospital file for us doctors it is very important to see your file at the last moment to check about your blood group or any other special character that is there that we've noted when we admit our patients that is the time when we ask for their i card so that we can have the right name and the right spelling in our files and that will go for uh, your birth certificate of your baby insurance these are so many couples have insurance so please make sure you carry your insurance card and before that you have clarified with your uh, insurance company as to what kind of claims and what are their terms and conditions sometimes they expect you to inform them within 24 hours of hospital admission if that is the scene please make sure that somebody takes this responsibility it should not be your work next very important thing they are going to go there and create memories so your phone your charger and if you want a camera a good quality hd pictures is what you are looking out for then you must carry a camera as well so now we have three bags to pack let us deal with your bag first you will need two types of packing one is for labor and one is after delivery so for labor you can walk into a comfortable gown many hospitals do provide their own gowns but certain small setups let you wear whatever you are comfortable in so please make sure you are wearing some half gown or something that you are not interested in to bring it back home because sometimes it gets really soiled so you can leave it behind now after delivery you will need a lot of clothes so they can be overlapping with your labor and this like socks winters are approaching so two or three pairs of socks is something very important that you need to keep a cap because winters there is maximum heat loss from your head and from your feet so it is important to keep them covered even when you're going through the process of induction of labor you need panties and you need different types of pads i advise three types of pads one is heavy duty maternity pads then second is the normal pads that you're using the stick ons on the panties and i advise smaller pads i don't want to mention the brand names so smaller pads can be used inside the panty as a panty liner and you can keep changing that but the maternity heavy duty maternity pads are very very essential especially for the first 2 3 days when the flow is very heavy accordingly you need different sizes of panties also because these bigger pads will need bigger panties so gradually when your bleeding is reducing you can go in for shorter panties but which fit really well then maternity gown after delivery the gowns that you need should be front open or there are chain ones also so that it is easier for you to breastfeed now maternity bras are also available and they are very comfortable normally they are hooked buttoned or chained so once you wear that but remember it should be the next size suppose you normally wear 36 size your maternity bra should be of 38 size 
so that they are loose and comfortable and your gown should also be well fitted and comfortable the fabric should be comfortable so just keep comfort in mind first if you want to wear some tracks or t-shirts make sure the elastic around the abdomen is just appropriate some of them are very particular about the pillow that they use so you can even carry your pillow uh, eye cover and ear plugs are also important sometimes because after delivery you're totally exhausted but your family is so excited so once you shift to the ward everybody is talking and they are having a gala time with the baby all pictures all selfies are going on and you want to rest so that is the time when these eye covers and ear plugs are very very handy there are certain things which we need every day so just imagine when you get up in the morning what do you need a pair of flip flops or bathroom slippers for you and for your birth attendant also then what do you need you go to the washroom you need your brush and your paste so for brush make sure you carry some extra brushes because your family members might just decide to stay back and if they don't have a brush in the morning it becomes very uncomfortable for them your favorite branded toiletries whatever you want to carry your soap your shampoo your face wash your body wash any lotion that you apply on your body so your routine stuff should be there with you so that you are comfortable cosmetics are also important i'm sure after delivery there will be so many photos and all that so i'm sure you want to look really nice and fresh so you can carry your cosmetics also see for the mother sometimes the labor can really stretch that time you definitely need to be hydrated and sometimes you even feel hungry so you might even want to do some snacking so in your bag please pack something to drink and some comfortable snacks normally once a patient is, is in labor we don't allow them solids because some of them have lots of nausea and vomiting so that can become very uncomfortable for you so in that condition having clear liquid something like coconut water is such a boon because coconut water maintains the sodium and the potassium balance also and it keeps you hydrated and that is one of the most important things in labor so some drinks and some snack for you and for your birth attendant also during this exhaustive time your lips might go dry so a certain lip balm can also be there to soothe you if you have a very dry skin and most of the hospitals these days are acs and these days it is winters so you might need some lotion to keep your skin hydrated as well so that is about the mother's bag so i'll just sum it up once toiletries clothes uh, papers basically these are the three broad categories and what do you pack your bag in have a bag of a comfortable size and i had said two types of packing your gown or your delivery clothes should be packed separately then what you're going to wear in the hospital that should be kept in a separate place in your suitcase and the third and the most important thing is what you're planning to wear back home if you want to have a matching with your kid so please keep your dress accordingly for you your family you all can discuss about the color combination so that once you are coming back home it could be another memorable moment now the baby all this is happening for what to receive our divine angel so for our baby what do we need start thinking it is our baby so whatever we need our baby will need accordingly so in the labor room or in the delivery room we doctors normally ask for baby's clothes so in that what all will you give because of winters proper clothing think from top to bottom and inside to outside then you will not miss anything so from top to bottom if you go cap right mittens clothes from inside to outside you can the child can wear some nice soft cotton vest kind of thing inside on that maybe a t-shirt or a frock and on top of that a soft cotton uh, material or maybe a woolen sweater will do above that you can cover the baby with a blanket then when you come down nappies are very important you can even carry diapers though i'm not much in favor of diapers nappies are much better and healthier and you save a lot of money also but for traveling and all diapers also help then 
um, wipes but more than wipes i prefer because i have seen a few kids with a lot of allergy with these wipes so a uh, square muslin cloth is very good which was used traditionally you can just moisten that and then clean your baby with that then small little towels for a sponging of the baby and in case of the baby is puking something or maybe throwing up some milk you can even clean so small little handy towels are important remember to keep those cute little socks the booties so this covers our baby from head to toe and inside to out remember to keep some body lotions as well because the child also feels very dry so you can apply some body lotion as well another important trick is please carry a plastic bag to pack your used clothes and don't forget the attendance bag in that please have towel brush flip flops and an extra pair of clothes for the attendant and if need be for you also so please take care pack these things think logically what all you need the same things your baby will need so have a happy and safe delivery remember to download our imums app because that will keep you happy and stress free thank you and namaste